We know what prayer looks like in church or during devotions, at the family dinner table, familiar places where we praise God, make confession, share our lament. Yet the human instinct to reach out to God doesn't always fit into liturgy or religious routines. We offer quiet, instinctive prayers every day, hopes, worries, frustrations, and we all direct these gestures at an assumed audience outside of ourselves. God may not always be the name given to this unseen listener, but he's still the one who hears. Prayer can be expressed by everyone and everywhere. In churches and chapels, yes, but also in places we wouldn't expect. Meandering paths, deep in the woods, and even in movie theaters. Not only with films like Chariots of Fire or Amazing Grace, but also movies that aren't normally associated with religious meaning. Casablanca, Toy Story, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, The Wizard of Oz. Dutch theologian Abraham Kuyper is probably best known for these words. There is not a square inch in the whole domain of human existence over which Christ, who is sovereign over all, does not cry, mine. Kuyper suggested that God's grace and his revealing truth can be found in the most unexpected of places. And our attempts to seek that grace and experience that truth can take unexpected forms. From the silent melodramas of Kuyper's time to the colorful animated extravaganzas of today, endless creativity is on display in the collaborative work of hundreds of film artists. And when the resulting movies honestly confess genuinely yearn, mournfully lament, or joyously celebrate, they serve as prayers. To see movies this way, we have to watch with grace. We have to accept that prayers can be unintended, that they can come from unbelievers, that even the howl of an atheist is directed at the God which they don't acknowledge. In this way, we can explore movies anew as elemental expressions of the human experience as message bottles sent in search of someone who will respond. Amelie expresses the joy of being alive in God's good world. Chinatown mournfully laments that the world is also fallen. Star Wars offers a pledge of obedience. The Wizard of Oz yearns to know him more. God listens to the whispered utterances of the devotee in the church pew, and he listens to our movies too. <laughs>